Hey, we're going to introduce James and Jan this episode. James is a mechanical engineer with a big background in automotive, and Jan is our new CEO. I'm really excited to have both guys on the team. my master plan when the uh, electric cars don't work out, I'm going to go work for IKEA. I'm James, I'm a, a senior mechanical engineer um, here. I've been here five, six weeks now. Um, so yeah, not long, fairly, fairly fresh to the whole project. So this is just a, a mock-up to sort of space claim where the batteries are going. So then we can put these in place, um, see where they do and don't fit. Basic responsible for the mechanical stuff on the car. Actually getting the drive from the electric motor into the existing drive line and any the auxiliary systems around that. So cooling, any of these engine driven systems that need to get replaced. So things like um, the air conditioning in the vehicle, the you know, power steering, the uh, vacuum pump for the brakes, all of that is engine driven currently. So when the car's in EV mode, none of that works. So we need to replace all of those things with electrically driven components. Mike's sort of palmed off all the driveline stuff to me, all the mechanical side of that. Started working on a bit of the cooling system type of stuff as well. So obviously the batteries, the motor, the inverter, all need cooling to keep them at the sort of optimum um, operating condition. So we need to implement a, a cooling system for them. Mike did some calculations on what sort of capacity we need out of that. So the, the main theory is that the everything will be water cooled and then that water will be uh, cooled with something similar to an air conditioning system, so a ref refrigerated cooling system to cool that water. That side of stuff means we have to add a whole load of components in terms of condensers, the compressor, um, and all that. So that all needs to find homes somewhere in the vehicle. The amount of heat that everything's gonna produce means uh, we need a lot of condenser area more than we can really physically fit in, so just trying to shoehorn as much in as possible without putting yourself to too many issues. Um, yeah, so that's the radiator out of the car. So the plan is to, this is the, the existing air conditioning condenser. We're going to add probably another two, maybe three of these if we can fit them in. And they'll be used for, um, well, the front ones will be battery, or the HV system parts cooling. Then we'll have the uh, vehicle air conditioning um, and then the engine cooler behind that. Um, and we've got to fit that all in the same place that didn't have anything before. So say so remove the engine driven air conditioning pump and that's going to get replaced with this, which is a, a 12 volt air conditioning pump. We've already fitted um, electric power steering um, and then there's an electric vacuum pump over there as well. So all that still works with no engine running. For some reason people like to have brakes at work. I think I'm most excited about one thing, getting the motor to drive the, the prop shaft, um, but getting that to function um, well um, is gonna be a really interesting engineering problem. You know, getting the electric and diesel engines to work together as opposed to trying to fight each other or yeah, I anticipate there being several issues around that, but it's gonna be interesting to try and get that to work. When the vehicle's actually up and running, it's gonna be some fun engineering to get it all to function seamlessly. <laughs> hey, stoked to introduce Jan to this project. So Jan, are you stoked to join this project? <laughs> Absolutely, Mike. This Land Cruiser is a great 
symbol of a whole bunch of the work that we're, we're doing here at Switch. It's involving a fantastic partnership with Echion on a new battery chemistry that we think the world really needs, especially in, in really high demanding industrial equipment. It's a, a vehicle that people love and don't always necessarily buy for rational reasons, but it's, it's a rock solid piece of machinery and has that reputation. And it's a, a fitting piece of equipment, I think, to trial an ultra durable new battery technology and also give something that doesn't have a reputation for being fast a little bit of a kick. There's a fun fun side to this Land Cruiser because we're adding 300 extra kilowatts of, of power to it, which theoretically means that it's going to be doing a, a zero to 100 well below four, four seconds. I think the, I mean, the real reason that, you know, this is interesting is if you go and put a truck underground in an underground mine, the battery is powerful enough and has enough energy to be able to drive the whole way out of a, a multi-kilometre deep mine in battery only mode. And that's really around not just carbon reduction, but removing emissions and diesel particulate from people. In that realm, there's, you know, there's a lot of, of value around uh, proving this chemistry in, in this vehicle. So really excited. And I've been incredibly impressed by the team and the cohesiveness, coherence that every engineer is putting into, into the work. You know, Australia, Perth especially, was really underrated from a tech talent perspective. A, an incredible opportunity to build globally relevant, world-class teams, um, you know, from, from this workshop. And uh, I think we both believe in that same mission and it's not it's not all about necessarily having, you know, a brilliant asshole. We've got a small team here and they are showing signs every day of just working so cohesively together, owning their own work, delivering to a schedule that they're designing and owning and holding themselves to. If you find this interesting and you want to follow this journey, then please like and subscribe. There will be plenty more.